but uh, we are exploring a lot of things. Uh, m most recently, I've been exploring this idea to make, to continue my series of plottable areas. So by the way, this is my website, growweb.me. And I've been exploring a lot of different stuff on the past uh, two years, more than two years. I mean, for a long time, I've been, I've been uh, exploring generative art, but uh, the past two years, I've been digging more the plot table uh, art. So it's like art made with pen plotters. So physical, um, I, th I think we, will, we could also say traditional art because we use uh, physical materials. We use uh, fountain pens. We use pens, we use uh, watercolor, we use, I mean, yeah, there's many possibilities out there. But at the same time, it's digital art because we are using, uh, we are making that with uh, algorithms, with a procedural uh, paradigm, like uh, generative art. And yeah, so what we do in these streams is live coding, but also pen plotting, but also uh, brainstorm, uh, like creat creative, uh, Thinking, creative, uh, coding. <laughs> anyway, a lot of different things like that. And one of my uh, long-term uh, projects that I want to continue now is plotable area. So plotable area is a f is a series is a, is a sequel of generators. So what is a generator is one uh, collection, like a genera uh, it's like a, gener a generator is a program that generates a collection in a way. So it's like taking different different seeds and generate different versions of that. So I uh, I've made the first uh, my first uh, episode <laughs> we can say like my first generator of this series of generator of this SQL was exploring the area of primitive, uh, of like the humankind, uh, like mid, uh, like uh, prehistorical uh, humankind. So that's what I, I call it primitive. It has been released on uh, FXH a year ago now, almost a year ago. And uh, I plan now to make the second uh, edition of that uh, series because this is uh, like the first era. I'm inspired. I'm a bit inspired by by like old video games where you had like different ages, <laughs> like Age of Empires and things, games like that. Uh, in a way, because it's this idea to to explore uh, civilizations from like the oldest to the to the most recent one, or maybe futuristic one. I mean, we we can explore many many directions. So you can see here. I don't know how what what order we should uh, we should use here whatever uh, but you can see many many different traits many, many different var variants some more more rare than others and yeah so this idea was to to get more a bit less into abstract art but more into uh, representative art i mean like, like mountains with with a uh, uh, like reflection on the on the uh, on the sea, you have you have the sky. So you have like yeah, basically basically three main parts. Uh, on the first uh, on the front, you you will have uh, like uh, possibly some boats on the on the sea. Um, then you have like in the foreground, you have uh, you have uh, mountains, different different scale of mountains, and then there is like the sky part, and everything reflects on the water. So in the mountain, there can be many different things. Uh, in the primitive case, there, there were like a few different objects. You, you can have mammoths, mammoth. you can have like some, some bridge, some people on the bridge. You can have uh, some uh, teepee. So yeah, all exploring like some, even some fire, but it's maybe not always the case. It's a bit, a bit rare case, I guess. So yeah, many different uh, uh, patterns and uh, and variety because well, this one is very cool. Um, 
in terms of in terms of ink, in terms of colors, uh, we can play with different uh, different uh, palettes. And the, the goal is all of these are plottables. So like physically, they can be uh, plotted on paper. And a plot is not a print. It's not a print because it's a unique edition. Each time you do a plot, you put so you use you use an analog process, which is a machine, a pen plotter, where you can put a pen and it's going to execute. All the strokes of that uh, of that uh, physic of that digital art. So on any uh, any of this, uh, you can actually retrieve a SVG file. The SVG file have all the lines that you can then send to the plotter. So yeah, it looks like that. So we have like a lot of lines, and we can uh, try it on paper. So in the digital version, I was trying to simulate a bit the effect of paper, but well, you, when you do it physically, it's always like even even better. It's like sublime even more the, the art when you you do it physically like that. But uh, anyway, that's the point. We are making a series of plotables, and now my goal is to continue that series, that sequel that is like has been one of my most successful projects, I think. Uh, the past year and well I have been procrastinating a lot <laughs> at making uh, the next the next one because it's taking me like well there's a lot of expectation of what's going to be the next one and uh, yeah I don't want to deceive uh, people so I have to make it even better so yeah each 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 item will be better and better so here yeah, you can see a bunch of plots that I have done. Oh, one, one of them is wrongly labeled, by the way. But uh, yeah, it has been really fun to plot them physically. You can see like the ink amber have very, very incredible effects on paper. You can see it shines differently on it sheen differently, the way it, it shades. And it also really depends on the paper. I think this, the paper I was using here is very, very absorbing the, the ink. Maybe even too much. But at the same time, it's actually cool, like this analog process, which creates a unique original uh, physical version. So uh, the goal is to continue making this idea of mountains uh, reflect, reflection and sky, but we are going to explore more areas. And my next area now is to make medieval area. So we are going to look at a lot of uh, a lot of reference, uh, a lot of medieval uh, inspirations, which I've been doing on the past uh, month. But at the same time, uh, I've also been exploring ideas all over the all over the the place. Uh, like more mountains. This one is not for medieval, but like you, you see, like this golden train idea I, I released recently, which were meant to be postcards. Maybe at some point we will reuse the, the train, like this idea of a train for the industrial area, but that's for the future. Anyway, I, I always love to continuing exploring other stuff at the same time, still having this long term uh, project in mind, but. There is some stuff we will possibly reuse, like the castles for medieval. But maybe not exactly this one. We will have to adapt. We will have to uh, enhance them a bit. And two days ago, we did a stream where I have developed live this uh, belf belfry. And we are developing objects, <laughs> like one by one. Uh, all the all the primitives I will have, all the components that will at some point I will have to put all back together. But yeah, that's gonna be challenging. Uh, so all of that were, were made uh, in the stream uh, two days ago. It's all made with with uh, programming with code. It's not AI. It's not any. It's not so complex stuff. It's mostly just math geometry. Just placing points, making lines from one point to another, uh, using randomness to vary vary stuff. So RNG, we we use, uh, we make pro like procedurally, we will randomize everything, 
to make a variation of stuff. And I like to like to show it in a grid like that, so we can uh, when we develop it, we can live uh, experience what what is the range of varieties. And yeah, I think that's how we are going to develop all the primitives now. And when we have all our primitives, we will uh, be able to to put it all together to make a, a scenery a bit like this uh, areas. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's A4 size, but half of the size is taken by the C. So it's like you only have um, like an A5 <laughs> size. So it's like much more smaller. In a way, it's a bit these cards I, I, I did behind me here. So bit this kind of size we will have, well, not this, not this width, but <laughs> anyway, we, we don't have so much space to make our scene, to make all our objects. So in a way, we, it's, it's actually interesting, and I like to, to exploit that a bit. It's like you can just make a bunch of strokes, like stickman kind of strokes, and if it's small enough, you don't really need much detail. You don't need, really need more detail. You can like just using a few strokes like I did for the crabs plot we did uh, two days ago. Well, you can see it's only made with a few a few lines, but yet we it's still pretty cool. I mean, it's still pretty uh, minimalistic, but uh, slash realistic. I mean, it's like <laughs> this uh, in between of dualities. I always like to try to achieve uh, dualities like, like realism versus uh, versus digital like physical digital realistic versus uh, versus geometrical so you see like the fact the mountains are like like very not this one is not so realistic but well the mountains are, are like relatively complex shapes versus the sky is just straight straight lines i like to mix you know to always mix a bit uh, like to confront a bit this uh, opposite uh, like dualities. Uh, 